Hey, welcome back to the channel and another miscellaneous Monday. Um, if I hadn't mentioned this before, I filmed these Monday ones the day of uh, these puzzles. So if you want to do these puzzles, the same puzzles that I'm doing um, prior to seeing me do them, you can go to those websites and do them first because these are those daily puzzles. So with that said, um, today we're going to do, um, let's see on the screen right now, we've got a Wordle. I want to do the Wordle, the Dordle, and the Cordle. So uh, just something a little different. Uh, mix things up a little bit. Try to get something uh, something going. So anyway, let's jump into these um, puzzles. Now, I've done a Wordle before. I think I might have done a Dordle before on the channel. So I don't need, know that I need to necessarily go too much into rules, but I will um, do a little overview. So let's dive into it. No, I don't need to create an account. And I don't need your advertising. Let's do that. There we go. So today's Wordle. So obviously we're guessing a five letter word. You can guess whatever you want to guess to start with. I usually do crane. So I'm going to start with crane. And we got an R. Um, usually when I get um, just one letter and no vowels, I go to my second word, pious, because it's going to give me all of the vowels used. And that was very helpful. So now I've got a PR already given. Um, I've got an I and an O, so I'm probably going to have a prior. That seems pretty good. Hey, there we go. So my two starting words, crane and pious, which I normally do, worked quite well. So that was the wordle. Let's move quickly on to our dordle. And let's change our screen to get that fixed onto here. And let's get started on dordles. I'm going to start with crane again, just because I'm a creature of habit. Now... As you can see on the dordle, we've got two separate words that we're solving at the same time. So in the, f the first word, we only get a yellow N. On the second word, we get a yellow R and an A. Now, the best way to go about these is to try to use some, try to create second or third, whatever, wherever you are on the list, words um, that might be able to give us some um, help on both of those. Now, since I don't really have anything between the two, I think I'm going to go back to my S and hope I get something nice. Well, I did got a U and I got a P over here, so that's good. Now we've got a bunch on the second side. What could this be? Um, well, we know there's a U. We know there's an A and an R. We don't really know where they are. U, R doesn't work at the end of the word, really. I mean, there are some words that have a UR, but it's not very often. UA is probably not a great uh, word either, so I would think the A and the R would be before the U. Now, could we do something with AR? If we do that, we'd have to use another vowel or another consonant, because we've used all the vowels, or a Y, if you consider a Y a vowel. Some people do, some people don't. Ardor? I don't think that's how you spell ardor, though. Right? I think it's E-O-R. Yeah, correct. That's what I thought. Um, so what else could we put there? I mean, could we just do R-A something U? I don't see anything off the top. I mean... Once again, it's going to have to be a consonant of some sort. I mean, R-A-D-U is the... I don't think radum is a word. Uh, but I don't see any other uh, letters that would work that way. So, mm. Right now, I don't see anything there. Let's go back. So I'm not seeing good options for R-A or A-R. What if it was A... Let's put an, I'm just putting the X to fill a space. Something along those lines. Agris, no. I don't have S's. 
Um, hmm, that's kind of an interesting. I'm not seeing much word there using these different combinations. Is there anything on the other side that might help me? Well, I guess there, I guess the other side actually is quite interesting now that I look at it. I was focusing on the right side because there's so much more information apparently. Um, but looking at the left side, we don't have any vowels. So we have to have a Y somewhere and possibly multiple Ys. What the heck can we put in there that's just Ys? Now, I know there are just Y words, but I don't know very many of them, and none of them that I can think of off the top of my head have an, an N or a P, like, you know, it's like Zillil and stuff like that. Um, oh, how about Nymph? N-Y-M-P-H. That would work. I think that's a good guess. Yes, there we go. Nymph, okay. Well, Nymph gave me nothing on the other side, so we know there's no Y. We know there's no M, P, or, or, or M, or H. We already knew there was no P. So we're back to figuring out what the heck this other word is. And it might be obvious to you guys, but I'm not seeing it right now. So, X A R U. Not X. And once again, X is just a letter, so I can type these in because you can't type them in. You can't like select a, a, a box and type in letters like you can in some other apps. So what could could this work in some way? Uh, just trying to think of any word that might fit this pattern. I've got to try to remember that we can still do, we can do double letters. There could be like a double R. I mean, there could technically be a double A or a double U as well, but I don't know if those would be as realistic. So, um, is there some unusual, not unusual letters, I mean like V, X, and Z. Those are not really common, same with Q sometimes, that we could use here that I'm, not uh, really thinking about completely in terms of being a great option. I don't have a whole lot. And when I tend to get into these situations, I want to tr just create a new word that uses some of these um, letters we haven't used just like a, to see if we can find something. I don't know if there's really much... I mean, we could do something like Glade. Obviously, the A and the E don't help us because they're in the exact same position. Or the E, we don't have an E and the A is in the same position. Um, but something like that would be okay. It'd give us three new letters, might give us some information. Is there anything that helps better? Um, is Alder a word? It seems to be. Now, that would check... A new position for the A, a new position for the R, and it would check L and D. I think that's a good compromise. So, oh, hello. <laughs> so we found the A and the... That's weird. So it's A... Oh, it could be auger? With a double U. And I said it was probably unlikely that it's a double U. Not W, but a double U. Um, auger, I think that works, right? Yeah, there we go. It was Nymph and Augur. Wow. There we go. Cool. That was our Dordle. So let's jump into a Cordle. Gotta rearrange my screens again. And if I didn't say it previously, all the, the links to these are in the, the description below, so you can play them along. I believe I did say that, but let's get into our Crane. And wow, that was excellent for this bottom right one. Um, just making sure the screen still lines up when it when it uh, puts forward. And sometimes things shift as you insert information, which is kind of unusual. But so we have. So well, here's one of the problems with this crane. First off, is that 
we leave actually quite when we get our we got our a and e in this word but we it, there's a bunch of things that could go in here to fill this up um like just a random thing would be like brave you know that fits in um but there could be you know other um, like grave would work frame would work uh those sorts of things so it's not while it does give us information it's not necessarily a uh, something that's going to set us into a correct path so maybe we've got a ton of a's this one only has an e this one i look i would assume we're done with our vowels on this one we could very well have another vowel on all of these, so maybe I just want to stick with my bias. Okay, that actually worked out quite well, because it's going to tell me where the P is down here. That was kind of the, the last one I was expecting. Now, if we do an A-P-E, it could be, it's most likely grape. Is there anything else it could be? It could be drape. There we go. So again, we're still getting multiple things it could be. I think it's either going to be grape or drape. Because I don't see anything else here. So let's move away from that, that side for a second. And maybe something we guess in these other ones is going to give us something. Um, the E and the S are not last. Which you'd think would be either ES or SE. Oh, those are very common endings. Um, we've got an S up here. So what? So we only have an A in this word, and we only have an E in this word. Now, the A is set quite well here, where we could do consonant, consonant, vowel, consonant, consonant. The E here could very well be in the middle and do the exact same thing. The other, in, the other chances would be that we'd have, you know, double vowels. How about up here? We've got an A and an I. So... Something something AI sounds like it would be would work. Um, every word I can think of right now starts with an S. That's not useful. Um, well, I was thinking frail, but we don't have an R. Grail again, no R. So maybe that's not a good. It could be I something A, like enact. Again, we don't have a C or an N. Huh. Now, do we have enough left? We've got tons of letters we haven't used still, which is kind of... I mean, we're only two, two guesses in, so you would expect there not to be a ton of letters. Um, so it might be a good idea to, to try something that uses either the G or the D or both that will give us, I was thinking like Glade again, but if we do Glade, the A, we don't get any information from the A's because we already know where the A's are. We don't get any information from the E for down here because we already know it's not in the last spot. Um, how about Elate? Now, the bad thing about that is we, we do two E's. And essentially the only place a double E could exist would be down here. And again, it doesn't give us... It, it uses an E in a space that doesn't really help us. And the A, of course, is, it is what it is. Uh, so I think I'm, I think I'm going to have to put in a, just a random word just to kind of get things moving a little bit. And what do I want to do? Um, really like to get at least three new letters, which is where Glade works quite well. But then again, we go back to what's there, the, uh, the E not helping us any. Um, I'm struggling to f think of something that's going to help me much better. I mean, I could do delay. Oops, I can't type. 
Now it's going to check for a Y, which is good. So we hit this the only val adjacent that we have not used. It gives us a, a chance at a D. It gives us a different location possible for the E, and it gives us um, a new chance at L. I mean, it, technically, it gives us another option if there happens to be a double A. I think that's unlikely, but I think this is a pretty good compromise. Oh, so there we go. And we, we got the D from drape. So we know this is drape. Gets us that one. Uh, we do know there's a D up here, which is good. And we got a Y. I didn't even see that because I was just trying to finish this one. So we got quite a bit from delay. That was a good one. So this one up here could be A, D, Y. It could be, oh, it has to have an S too. So shady seems like a good answer there. Let's give that a try. It is shady. Good. We found our S here. We know the E is neither of these two. We don't have a lot of information on this one. So we've got S something. And then it's... We didn't do a double E guess. And at this point, a, a double E might have been a good idea because it could be something like this. Like skeet. So we haven't used K or T. Now, how many guesses? We've got three more guesses after this to get two words. So is skeet a good idea? Let's give it a try. Wow. It was a double E, and we got a T here, which is beautiful. So what is that word? Am I being really slow? So sweet. Jeez, I didn't, I didn't see that. Oh, it's sweet. And that gave us a W. Goodness me. Now we're getting information up here. So we've got two guesses left. It's something X or something W A something T. And we have to have an I. <clears throat> so the I is either first or fourth. It's probably more likely to be there. Um... But that doesn't really make any sense, does it? Oh, it could be a double A. A weight. Yeah, that's got to be it. It's got to be a weight. Uh, do we want to guess this? Let's just take a quick look. I don't think there... I mean, I, W, A. I don't think there's any use for that. So let's do a weight. It was a weight. Okay, there we go. Hey, there we go. So that is our... Congrats. There we go. Weekly challenge unlocked. Um, do we want to do that? Let's see what this is. So we got our weekly challenge. Let's uh, get into it. We'll start with Crane. That worked out well again. And we're going to do Pius. Wow. Okay. We've got some good letters going on here already. P-I. Is Pino. Okay, it is a word. I didn't know if it would be because it's... Technically, I guess it's a proper word, but I guess in general, it just describes a type of wine. I think Pinot is a good answer. There we go. Um, in our bottom right, we've got O and E given, plus there's an S somewhere. So O-S-E seems quite likely. There's a, I mean, a lot of words end in O-S-E. In the top right, we've got a P up there, and we have a C, R, and O that have to go somewhere. Um, so P, O at the end could work, but I think um, it works better in the second position. It could just be porch. Hey, there we go. Um, porch sounds like a good answer. Let's go for that one. It is porch. Good, good, good. Oh, and look at that. We've got a double O down here. So we've got in something O-O-S-E. It could be loose. It could be moose. It could be goose. There's a ton of things it could be, apparently. What about up top? We've got a C, A, and S. We know where the A is. We don't know where the C or S is. So something A, S, C. Mm, not great. The C is either second or fifth. Hmm. 
Now, would it make sense to use some letters in this guess that would rule out some possibilities down here? So we said, what, loose, moose, and goose. So is there anything we can do that works for this top left one that's going to give us maybe some information? I mean, we could do like glass. It's going to give us our, whether we have a G or an L. If it's neither of those, it's most likely moose below. Now, it, it's not great at the top because it doesn't use the C, so it can't actually be an answer. But it does tell us at least one other location where the S could possibly be. I think that's good enough. Let's go for it. Okay. So it's not moose. I mean, it's not loose or goose. So it's most likely, I mean, not loose or goose. So it's most likely moose. Bumbling around those words. That's good. Um, so we actually do have an L on that top one. So glass wasn't bad because it told us the S is not at the end. So it's had to be one of the first two. We know we've got an, an L, so it's probably most likely S, L, A. And we've got a C. K would work. Let's try that. It was not slack. Why did I put that in there? That is so stupid. I already knew the L was not in the second position. I'm a dummy. So we've got a S something, and I already knew the C wasn't in the fourth position. What is wrong with me? Don't answer that question. <laughs> a, um, I just don't see ALC working. So S C A L. It could be scald. Scald. We haven't used a D heavy. And now I gotta, I gotta take a second to look at this, make sure I'm not being stupid again. So we know the C is either second or fourth, so it could very well be second. The A, we knew where it was. The L, we know it definitely isn't second. So it's either fourth or fifth. And the D is a brand new letter. I think Scald's a good answer. Yep, there it is. Okay. Um, we didn't get anything else, so we're gonna say Moose, Mase instead. Moose. And there it's Moose. All right, there we go. So we ended up doing the Wordle, Dordle, Quartle, and uh, the Weekly Quartle, which I wasn't aware of, but hey, it all worked out. I hope you all enjoyed that one. Uh, nice little quick, um, well, 20 minutes or so, not bad, uh, quick one for today, and um, hope you enjoyed it. And if you do, let me know um, which one of these games that you do enjoy watching, if you will enjoy watching any of them, uh, and we'll, uh, we'll go from there. So thanks for watching. Thanks. Bye.